Hello, here we are. I've um, managed to set all this equipment up so that it kind of works. So, um, welcome to uh, Mark Making Part 2. So, here's your checklist. Have you got your materials? Your paper and your sketch or your sketchbook. Have you got your tools? I'm going to be drawing with pens. If you haven't got them, just press pause and go and get them. Are you sitting in the best posture possible or lying or standing? Any position that's comfortable for you. And is your clothing or bedding protected? Now let's do some joint warm ups. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but you should definitely pause and do some nice neck turns, gently shoulder rolls, and then move your arms from your elbows, wrists and fingers. So I'll just do the wrists with you. Yeah, rev that motorbike. Snake, starfish, snake, starfish. Ooh, if you've got any joints that are a bit sore, give them a bit of a rub. Give the end of those fingertips a pinch, get the blood circulating. Right, these hands have been working hard, so they, you know, they deserve some love. Okay. So select a tool and today we're working with ballpoint pens. So I've got three here. Um, three's better than one, three's better than two, two's better than one, one's better than nothing. Um, just make use of whatever you've got. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is breathe. And notice what our emotions are and where they are in the body and make a note of them. And then we'll start making marks and then we'll do some reflections. So before we go on, I'm going to show you some that I've been doing. So I often do these when I wake up first thing in the morning. And I really notice what's happening, how I'm feeling, and I really look for where it is in the body, and then I start drawing. And I find that as my drawing progresses, it often starts off really tight and cross and angry, and then as my drawings progress, I end up with more space. So I've used a combination of different types of pens in these drawings. This is all with ballpoint pens. It's all done with these two. There's a lot of possibilities for mark making with these pens. This is what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to first make marks in a full range of motion. Then we're going to make tiny little marks. Then we'll do some double drawing or triple drawing. And uh, some listening, drawing with sounds. And then we'll do a one minute continuous line drawing. So, um, you can do some of it, you can do all of it, you can extend parts of it, you can miss bits out. Um, just a few more examples here before we get started. And here are some drawings that I made today when I was on my mobility scooter. So these are journey drawings. They're sort of uh, scooter seismology. So 
I just let the bumps make the marks. And here we've got, oh, that's lovely. Big range of motion. So I like to start with writing the date. So what is it? Uh, it's Thursday the 1st. And I'm just going to take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. I think I'm going to do a few sighs as well. It's evening. I'm feeling quite relaxed now. time for me and you <sighs> okay so what are my emotions yeah I feel quite calm and I'm feeling quite happy about doing this as well how are you feeling Write it down. Yeah, you might be feeling nervous, excited, bored, depressed, anxious. Did I say anxious? Probably. Anyway, I feel quite calm um, uh, and quite heavy in the old legs. Um, I have got a headache and I've got some backache and the old shoulders are not not that chuffed. Um, so I'll just see how my body goes. So I want to do a full range of, range of motion. So the way I did this was I I just started somewhere central and then just really getting my wrist warmed up, going both ways, up, down, down, up, down, side, 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 okay, faster ones. Quite big marks. I'm going to try and make some smaller ones now. I wonder if I can make them even smaller. Maybe some straight ones. Yours don't have to look like mine. Oh, how small can they go? What are the tiniest marks I can make with this pen? What are the heaviest lines? About the lightest. Oh, I wonder what's happen what's going to happen if I do this on the other side. Can I do the same thing with both hands? Well, it's easier with the right hand. Actually, I quite like those marks in with the left hand. Oh, 
kind of I don't mind if they're wobbly. So, obviously, it's a lot easier to control it with my dominant hand, but you know, I quite like seeing what I could do with the other hand as well. like that. I'm going to come back to it later and think about why I like it. But I'm not sure at the moment. Right. Moving on. Um, I don't usually draw on the back of the pages because I might want to take them out and do something with them and then I'd lose the other drawing. Right, I'm going to draw with these two pens together. Now, uh, if it's difficult for you to hold them together, you could just use an elastic band. I'm just going to do some automatic drawing. And that is, it's not planned. I'm not planning to draw anything in particular. It doesn't need to look like anything. I'm just going to make some marks. Ooh, I like those. Let's see what happens if I do them with the other hand. can't actually see very well because um, I've got a lot of equipment in front of my face. It, I think that even though, you know, if I was just drawing on my own in bed, this would be fine. I think to make these videos in the future, I'm going to actually have to sit up at a table because... It's actually really hurting my back sitting like this sort of trying to peer around the side of the screen my head is sort of well my chin is there but above the iPad anyway I love those and uh, I'm gonna put a third pen in there just make sure this one's working yeah Oh, yeah, I've got ink all over my hands already. What happens if I hold them there rather than down there? That could be interesting. Oh, one of them's not far down enough. Quite hard to get three. There we go. No. That's interesting because at different times, different ones would be working. And I've got to kind of rotate them to get them to work. That looks quite seismic, actually. They're almost kind of dancing together, these pens. Oh, 
You can sort of spread them out a bit as well. That's interesting. I really like them. It doesn't matter if nobody else does. They're my marks. So, back to what I was planning to do. After doing these warm-ups and thinking about what I like, going to do some listening so I'm just going to sit here listen to sounds make some marks and then after that we'll do a one minute drawing deep breaths hand on the paper connecting Just drawing what I can hear. I've got some wind, some cars. rustling around my ear on the pillow and some weird clicks in the house and on my own joints I can hear myself swallowing and a kind of ringing in my ears. I was drawing with my eyes closed, I've opened them now. Listen and make marks. It's interesting how long you can hear a car for. Okay, so you can carry on doing this for as long as you like, but I'm going to stop now because I'm going to have to move my body soon. And I'm going to do a one minute drawing. I'm going to just use one pen. So I'm going to choose something that I can see. And I've got a beautiful plant over there that I got for my birthday. So um, it's going to be a continuous line drawing for 60 seconds only. And I'm not going to take my pen off the paper once I've started. And I'm not even going to look at the paper because I really need to focus on looking at this plant. So choose something, doesn't matter what it is. Decide where you're going to start. Commit to it. And just go for it. So... So this is a what would be called a no looking continuous line drawing. Or 
blind, continuous line drawing. I've got about 10 seconds left. There we go and uh, you probably want to see what I was drawing there it is with all my laundry that I haven't put away yet and there's my drawing and um, I think it's quite good so what I'm going to do now is reflect on my drawings and I feel that this I'm pleased with it because it looks really lively and fun and I think it's got some resemblance to the ivy and the um, monstera and the other thing. So I'm just going to write that down. really I can tell that's windy when I look back at it it's a windy evening so another time if I want to draw something that looks windy I can come back and refer to this and these remind me of insects scrabbling uh, it's just the rustling of my ears on these lights. Seismic. Actually, it also looks like um, geological layers or layers of sedimentation, lamentation. These as well look like scrap. Reminds me a little bit of some aspects of Arabic script. Same down here. Have a look at your drawings. What do they remind you of? What do you like? What don't you like? I mean, this looks quite infantile. It was just a warm up, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, Do you actually really like these sections of parallel lines like those? I'm not sure, they just remind me of some fencing. That looks like a fence that's disappearing down a bumpy kind of field. Thinking of kind of swept over hair, that's a bit Donald Trump there. So that's it. Have a go, do as much or as little as you want. And if you're on Instagram, uh, post your pictures and uh, tag me 
at Jojo's Mojo Co. And hashtag um, Jojo's Art Club. Okay, hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be posting part three soon.